I'm Shell about a Long Island principal accused of having sex with a teenage boy. That principal got the job despite having a criminal record, and it turns out he did so with a set of fake fingerprints. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, the revelation is leading to big changes in procedure. When Freeport Middle School principal John O'Mard was arrested, accused of having sex with a 16-year-old, the respected educator's criminal record was revealed, a felony conviction in 1990 for grand larceny, a misdemeanor in 1987 for petty larceny. So how did he get a job as an educator with a criminal record? The answer now has the Freeport District and parents stunned. According to the New York State Department of Education, O'Mard submitted a false set of fingerprints when he applied for the job nine years ago. Parents are going to look at this and say, how, how could this happen? Education Committee Chair Senator John Flanagan says he's shocked at how easy it is to dupe the system. The Department of Education requires fingerprints for job applicants. Most utilize new digital technology done at police stations and authorized businesses. But 25% mail in their fingerprints. Experts say the old ink method is ripe for ripoff. An individual can just find somebody who looks similar to them, who they're sure does not have a criminal record, send that person in with their ID and the individual taking the fingerprints would have no way of knowing. Omar wasn't at home when we tried to reach him. He's free on bail after allegedly having sex with a teen he met on a dating website. The district says it followed all correct protocol and is outraged by the allegations, as are parents. People like that should not be in schools. Flanagan's calling for a complete review of teachers' fingerprinting, which now doesn't even require a photo ID. If you want to perpetrate a fraud against a system, it seems to me that you could find a way to get these cards, do your own prints, falsify the signature, and mail it in. The case has also caught the attention of the Nassau DA's office, which along with police is looking into whether laws were broken. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The school district says it has launched its own investigation into the falsification of records. Now,